right guys, so I'm going to start out with Walmart first because it's my least amount of stuff. And this was $61. Problem is, whenever I go into Walmart and I have more than like five or six things on my to grab list, I always end up coming out spending more than I anticipated. And for this to be $61 worth of stuff just blows my mind. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's just crazy. But anyway, these were 97 cents, so I grabbed three of those to finish off a project that I'm starting for a centerpiece. I've got a few little fall projects that I'm going to be doing for you guys. Then I saw this uh, poly mesh, 347 for 20 foot, and it's kind of like the Halloween colors. Figured I could grab that now, um, so I could make some more like Halloween decor. So I grabbed the kids some little hugs for after school, just as a, a quick grab. Um, besides the waters that I usually give them. Two of the country gravies for chicken strips later. Um, Ethan asked for cheddar cheese crackers, so I went ahead and grabbed those. Grabbed corn dogs for some lunches for my husband. We like this white corn and black bean salsa, though we like high V's version better. Um, and then Kanita style salsa. I have not tried this one yet, but I don't know. It looked good, so <laughs> I grabbed it. Um, I needed active yeast. I was completely out. So I grabbed some more of that. Completely out of parsley and garlic powder. Um, a recipe I'm going to try requires ranch style beans. So I grabbed two cans of those. Also grabbed a shirt for my youngest. I thought it was short sleeves. I didn't read it. I didn't look at it. It's actually long sleeves. But that's okay. And then there were $3 swim trunks for my oldest. And I figured, you know what? Grab them for next year. Um, cereal. I don't remember the last time I bought cereal, but we are pretty much down to one box of cereal. So I went ahead and grabbed my oldest wanted Fruity Pebbles and then my youngest and my husband enjoy the peanut butter cup cereals. I grabbed barbecue chips for work lunches and then of course tortilla chips to go with the salsa and then probably since this is a huge ginormous bag, of chips I will probably plan out nachos or something to go along with those at another point in time be Aldi for a hundred and eleven dollars now from what my budget seems to be doing is I am spending about fifty dollars a person for breakfast lunch and dinner for two weeks so I feel like that's not too too bad um, I am adding twenty two dollars from Dollar General because I did get soda and I needed household items so my total is coming in at like 194 but that was before I realized I needed the household items um, so typically I like to keep my budget about 175 200 is like my max that I want to spend um, so just for Aldi and Walmart it was 172 but adding in the 22 from Dollar General for my husband's sodas and then the the cleaning products that I needed to get which I will show you in a separate haul um, just in case you don't want to see that, um, it came to 194. So here we go. <laughs> I was completely out of all of my baking, baking goods. And for me, I have to have this stuff stocked up because it can mean snacks or something meal prep, uh, when I need it. So I went ahead and grabbed chocolate chips because we'll probably be making some chocolate chip cookies or chocolate chip muffins. Um, I used up the rest of my brown sugar today making cinnamon rolls, used up my baking cocoa when I made the chocolate banana muffins, but I've never tried Aldi's version, so I'm going to give it a go. We'll see. I don't know. I'll let you guys know how it compares. I was low on my baking powder, so I went ahead and grabbed that. Then I went through a bag and a half of all-purpose flour making the muffins the cinnamon rolls, and the loaves of bread. And again, that is why I use so much sugar. So I grabbed two things of sugar, one more thing of flour. Um, bananas were still 29 cents, so I grabbed a bundle. We are kind of getting burned out on bananas, so I didn't grab any more than just one bundle. Gala apples were a little bit cheaper this time, so I grabbed two bags of gala apples for the kids. They're loving snacking on apples. Um, they go through phases. It's either bananas or apples or grapes. Uh, pasta rings with meatballs. I got two cans of those for my husband. 
um, chili for chili dogs, um, diced tomatoes and green chili. I got black beans and then kidney beans. I got oyster crackers. I got spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce. I got two boxes of the Velveeta knockoff um, for a dish that we're going to be trying. Um, let's go over this way. I did go ahead and grab these lunch mate value packs. They were they dropped down in price, so it's actually cheaper for me to do this. I'm not a big fan of the nitrate meat, but this time this is what fit in my budget, so I grabbed it this time. Went ahead with hickory ham and then oven roasted turkey breast. I was out of onions, so I had to grab some onions. I don't use these very often, so they last me a little bit, but I was definitely out of onions. And then these peppers were huge. Look how big those things are. So I don't know if I'm going to use all these. I put that I needed six, but I don't know if I'm going to need them all. I may end up just cutting them up and freezing some uh, if I don't use them. So, um, yeah, they're just, they're huge. <laughs> and then over here I have two pepperoni pizzas. Went ahead and got seasoned fries because my husband likes these seasoned fries. And then I grabbed the crispy chicken strips. We love to have those every once in a while. Uh, my husband requested trail mix. He takes those to work, so I grabbed two boxes of trail mix, and then I grabbed him two boxes of the Swiss rolls because they're only 99 cents a box, which isn't too bad, and he likes to have some sweets on hand. I grabbed two things of paper towels. I grabbed two cartons of eggs, and then down here, if you guys can see, is those um, junior waters. I get those for my son because he takes one to school every day um, to drink in the classroom. Um, two things of lasagna, uh, spaghetti, beef broth, I got two containers of cottage cheese, um, pepper jack cheese for my husband, mild cheddar for my boys, um, cream cheese for a meal that I'm going to be making. I got two packs of hot dogs uh, for chili dogs. I got a pack of sharp cheddar cheese and then Italian style for some deals that we are, or meals that we're going to be doing. Um, carrots were 49 cents a bag, so I went ahead and grabbed two. Most likely, I will leave one bag out for the kids to eat with ranch, and then I will freeze the other one for a pot roast in the future. I got a bag of chicken. Um, this is the only meat that I really purchased because we're eating off of what we already have in the freezer um, because there weren't very many good meat sales. Um, milk, we grabbed two gallons. I've got five loaves of sandwich bread and one thing of hot dog buns. That is going to be everything. I'm going to put my meal plan down in the description box for you guys so you can see what I'm planning on making these next two weeks. And I do have a meal prep video coming up. Either you've already seen it or will be after this one. Um, so you can see kind of what I've been meal prepping and why I'm buying so much eggs and sugar and flour and stuff. But that's going to be it, guys. We are starting to fill back up the freezer, trying to keep the pantries stocked up. And for things like spaghetti sauce, I, I tend not to really worry about stocking up on those because they don't cost me too much to go buy. It's the things that, you know, that are staples for me that I use consistently. Sugar, flour, my baking goods. Um keeping bread stocked because my kids eat a ton of sandwiches and then trying to just stock up on meat whenever it is on sale that's like my biggest goal is to stock up on meat when it's on sale i also just try to buy fruits and veggies that are on sale as well so that's it guys that is going to be my two-week haul for you